Hi everyone, this is Techno Freak. As I said, I was going to do a video on re installing uh, the Mate desktop for Ubuntu. Um, I'm using Ubuntu 12.04. This pretty much works for most uh, Debian and Ubuntu systems. But uh, the only thing you got to change on the install is when you add the, re the res repository. Um, you just got to change what version you're using for the name of it. Um, I'm using Precise, so I have the Precise there. If you're using any of the other ones, you just got to change that to fit your needs. Um, and it's really quite easy to install. First thing we got to do is install the rep repository um, into our system. So first we add the link for the repository. Next we do the sudo app get an update and that'll update our repository system in our current computer. The very next thing while that's updating it, we got to add their key ring for mate. So I'll have these lines of code up in the description so that you can have these to copy and paste over into a text file. So you can do it just like I am here. And like I said, the only thing you got to change is the name of your um, current version that you're using for Ubuntu. Um, okay. Then we update. A repository so that it gets all current updates and I'll be showing you after I get this installed I'll log out log back in and go into the mate desktop so that you can actually see what the difference is I mean right now I'm in genome classic and one thing I don't like about genome classic is when you go into your system tools your preferences and your administration is all in here where in genome 2 original you had your places and then you had another administration area right here that's the way I really like my operating system so that I don't have to sit there and dig through all the extra stuff. Mate takes care of some of that, makes things a little bit smoother. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to do a sudo app-get install mate-core. Now this is going to install, install all the main core files of mate so that we have it to use. And once that gets installed then we'll actually install the desktop environment. Now one of the reasons I use different desktops is each has their own functionality and their own speed and behavior. Um, if I'm just surfing the internet, I like that little bit more uh, glitzy. It don't bother me because it doesn't affect my system. Um, I'll like run Cinnamon or something for surfing the internet because I don't need the extra resources. It's not like when I'm burning a DVD or anything like that. But now if I'm going to be burning a DVD, um, changing and re-encoding video format or any of that, if I'm on one of my netbooks or something and I still want to do that, that's where I, I jump into XFCE 4 because that has very little resources that it uses when it's running. So when you're in that desktop and you start to play with video or burning a DVD or anything, it can run at full speed due to the system that you're running. The desktop environment uses so very little um, system resources. And that's one thing a lot of people don't understand is like if you're using Unity, and you try to burn a DVD or something that's of any amount, and you're in a you're on a computer that has limited resources, it may take you a very long time to burn a DVD. But where the difference comes in with the different desktops is if you jump into even Genome Classic and you go to burn a DVD versus burning it in 
um, unity you'll find that the times and speeds go a lot faster now if you think you think that's nice well if you jump into xfce desktop and then go to burn a dvd it, you're talking night and day difference for the speed of the operating system so now we're gonna now that that's done processing now we're gonna do the sudo app dash get install mate dash that dash desktop dash environment and that's going to install the actual desktop environment into your computer now once I get this done installing I'll stop the video and I'll cut back into it after I log in into the mate environment well, welcome back now that you can see I logged into the mate desktop um, I haven't gotten to play with this one too much, but I'm going to show you a few things. Um, one thing that I like to have is everything at the bottom more of a Windows feel. So you can see here where I'm changing that to be on the bottom. Um, sometimes it's nice to auto hide, but I got a big enough screen on this one, it doesn't matter for me. Um, I delete shortcuts from the panels. Um, one good thing, once you get a new system in, or a new desktop installed, I always go right up to my update manager. It's not such a big deal with like Genome Classic because it's actually part of Ubuntu, but when you do this running of the update manager, yeah, no updates, I can double check it, um, but let it update the cache for the files um, but as you can see down here on the on the left hand corner you got your system your places and your applications um, I always like that setup and like I said when you remove unity if you do a complete removal you use you you'll lose all this date and time stuff down here uh, see, there are no updates to install, so that's good. Um, and the speed and performance of it is pretty good. The only thing that I find is when you start to get multiple desktops, desktops sh uh, share your base core system, but you'll get some of these odd ones like Calculator here because you got each one that has their own calculator. Same with Archive Manager. You can see one's blue, one's um, gray. Um, there's only a few files like that that come up um, because a lot of stuff is shared like you can see the document viewers are just a little bit different in their design logos but there's still two of them not to me a big deal and that'll show up in most of your um, like in the office I got two dictionaries uh, dictionary picture looks exactly the same but same LibreOffice or, or Office they're sharing, but all your other programs are installed. They all work and function exactly the same. Now, one thing I wanted to show you, I was going to show you how, how much more resources this takes and uses. But, ah, system monitor, here we go. See, I'm recording, and you can see my CPO2 is that pretty much maxing out quite a bit as I talk and CPU 1 30 40 percent still not too bad 11 percent on the memory so on the f physical side of the memory it's doing um, really good even though I'm recording um, which is not bad I'm maxing out a little bit more on the CPU so not a big deal uses a little more resources than classic genome but now you can see where you, you got everything here and nice thing about the newer setups is um, you know you can see here where I got my other recordings you shared a base system and it's not actually a separate system it all shares all your base files you know all my different stuff is there now I was going to show you on here customizing a little bit um, because this is an outside source 
for the desktop um, just right click on your desktop area and I always like to change the background images they have basic images but I keep a few images and all I have to do is just go in here and add um, I got a couple of them that are bigger file size but like my fire dragon I can just click open boom it's right there um, I can add my other ones too and you can see how quick it changes it and then it puts it in there for easy selection once I actually open it and add it that's the one I've been running with lately Dragon Skull um, anyway uh, my next tutorial will be on installing cinnamon um, a little bit more hungry on uh, resources but a very good one for its functionality and different options uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe and